All right, today we're going to work on two sections. The first one is integers. Um, when you work on your integer section on your exam, I do want to make sure you know that this will not be calculator based, meaning you will not be allowed to use a calculator, so you need to remember these integer processes. And so remember the first thing is same sign. If you have the same sign, you're going to add and you're going to actually keep the sign that it was. So a negative 5 and a negative 6, same sign we add, and so it's negative 11. The next rule is if I have different signs, different signs, different is like different, so I'm going to subtract. And this one, you keep the sign of the bigger number. So different signs subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number. The next one is if we have two negatives touching. And remember what happens here is I circle them and I make them plus. Now, when you have multiplying and dividing, this is the only rule you use. Whenever you multiply and divide, you do the problem, and then you see how many signs there are, and you circle them and make them plus. For adding and subtracting, the same sign add, different sign subtract. You don't, do the, uh, you don't change any signs. If it's the same sign, you keep it. If it's different signs, you pick the bigger one. Okay? So let's go ahead. I have these squigglies down here, so we could do a couple examples. So a negative 2 and a negative 4, these are the same sign. So I'm going to add, and so that's 6. But because they're both negative, it's a negative 6. 3 minus negative 2. Well, these two negatives are touching, so I make them a plus. And now I have things that are the same sign. Same sign you add, and it's 5. And they're both positive, so it's positive 5. Now I'm going to have a number outside of parentheses. And remember, this means times. So 2 times 3 is 6. I see 1, 2 negatives, so I write them. And then here, they're touching, so I can make it positive 6. All right, 5 minus 10. This is a positive 5, this is a negative 10, so these are different signs. So different signs subtract. 10 minus 5 is 5. This is the big number. And so since my big number is negative, my answer is negative. Negative 10 divided by negative 2. Again, I just do my math. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And I write down the two signs because there was two negatives, so I write them down. I circle those, and so my answer is positive 5. And then the last type of problem we can have, negative 3 minus a negative 1. I can circle these. There's a parenthesis there, but there's not a number there. So this is OK. So this becomes a plus, so negative 3 plus 1. Now, if you notice, it's a negative 3 and a positive 1, which is different signs. So different signs subtract. So I get 2. And since 3 was the bigger number, it's a negative 2. OK? The other thing that we're going to do today is the verb verbal and algebraic expression. So we're going to turn over. I'm going to go to this top right one. So there's some words. I, you know a lot of the words. We're just going to write down the most important ones. Uh, sum. And remember that has, a pl that has parentheses. Uh, if you have a minus, the word that goes in parentheses is difference. And then remember the other tricky one is less than. And that's backwards. And then some other words we have for times is product. 
Another hard one that people struggle with sometimes is twice. And remember, that's just two times a number. And then the last one is divide. And for divide, it's quotient and ratio. Those are the tricky ones. All of these words, let's see if I can highlight, I can kind of highlight. These are the words that go in front and they also use the word and, except twice doesn't use the word and, but the top ones use the word and. So I'm going to highlight and say the word and. I wish I could unhighlight that. I can't do that though, so no, no highlight. But it is twice a number. Okay, so then there's some different types of problems you have. You're going to have problems where you have to write it in words. And so this one would be three times. And I'm timesing by this whole thing, which is different. So three times the difference of a number and that's where the and sign goes, five. And again, that's about the only way I can write it because I have to use the word difference because there's parentheses. I think you guys can see that, okay. A little blurry. Okay, another one, four x plus two. It has parentheses and it has a plus, so it's gotta be sum. So it's gonna be four times the sum of a number, oops, let's spell number right, it says duber, of a number and two. And then I could also give you a word problem where I say, let's say I give you six less than twice a number. So six less than is backwards, and so it has to be minus six. And then twice the number would be two n. And then the last one, the sum of a number and four divided by three. So I start here and it says the sum of a number and four, so the sum of a number and four divided by, so that means that whole thing divided by three. Okay. So make sure you know which word means what. Uh, only use the word and for sum, difference, product, quotient, and ratio. Don't use the word is because that creates an equal sign. And just try and remember all your vocabulary. Okay. And then study your integer rules. Don't take it for granted. This, this should be an easy part for all of you to do really well on.